this record. G'day, it's Shane here from Lonely Grape TV and thank you for joining me at my home bar. But more importantly, thank you for helping me bring the Claren Vale wine to the world. And a big hello today to all the Dead Redders out there. Okay, had a wonderful Saturday with the Dead Red, Dead Red Wine Group and uh, also for Charlie, Charlie's birthday. So a big happy birthday for last Saturday to Charlie and uh, what a wonderful day it was. Now one of the wineries we went to was Graham Stevens Wines. For those that have been watching Lonely Grape TV for a while now uh, would know that uh, Graham Stevens Wines is a uh, winery and Graham himself is a winemaker that I've been promoting quite a number of times. I think his uh, philosophy and what he's achieving there is pretty good. So uh, well worth checking out Graham Stevens Wines. And on that basis, I've got a wine today to check out. I've got their 2010 Vintage Liqueur Musket from McLaren Vale. Now this wine's actually not available uh, for tasting or for sale, technically, just yet. Still a couple of weeks away. It's been bottled about a month. And they're just waiting for it to settle down uh, before they uh, start selling it at the cellar door. I was able to get my hands on a bottle and I thought I'd share it with you guys. So, let's do the wanky thing. Yeah, you should be able to pick up that nice muskety golden colour there. 2010 vintage, so it's all from the 2010 year. It's not one of these, you know, 10, 15, 30 year old liqueur muskets. It's relatively fresh, relatively new. It's been sitting in uh, contact with large oak um, now for uh, about a year or so. And uh, I'm not expecting lots of oak character to come through. Oh, I'm getting such aromas already off of this. Now, it's about 19% alcohol, so you do expect to get some alcohol um, on the nose and on the palate, of course. And yes, there is a bit of an alcohol tingle on there. Definitely a bit of alcohol tingle. Now the musket grape, one of the things I find interesting about the musket grape is you get lots of different grapes that smell of lots of different things, you know, the red fruits, the black fruits and everything else. But the thing with musket, musket tends to smell like grape, funnily enough. Now this is definitely uh, grape here. So there's some good spirit, you definitely get some good spirit. Grape, and you can get a little bit of that wood aging character coming through there. Just a little bit of, um, oh, maybe slightly burnt caramel just starting to form there in the back, back of the nose. Maybe um, tea, strong cup of, say, Darjeeling tea, uh, or just, just the tea leaves. There's a little bit of that coming through. And I know you can't smell sweetness, but I get a sense of sweetness here as well. Okay, definitely get a sense of sweetness here. Now, one word, one word, luscious. It's very juicy, um, this wonderful musket grape coming through. Uh, that tea character that I got before, just, just a hint of tea character, which is interesting because tea quite often is associated with the toke style, not with a musket grape. Um, yes, getting that character. The interesting for me is, though, as well, there is lots and lots of sugar there, but the palate is kept reasonably clean. So that to me also says that there's plenty of acid in this wine that's actually cleaning off the mouth, ready for another 
another go at this wine. And yes, you may have noticed I'm not spitting it out. And that's a pur purposeful decision on my part. Now, different to the, say, the liqueur muskets and tokays of Rutherland and all that sort of stuff that you see out there, this one, I think, will be really interesting drunk cold. Right? This is at room temperature at the moment. But I think having that in the fridge, drinking that cold during summer, it uh, just, just lessens the alcohol a little bit, so the alcohol is not just going in the mouth, okay, and get that that luscious feel all the way through and in fact uh, I tried this in the winery with Graham and uh, definitely out of the fridge I let it warm up a little bit but uh, out of the fridge certainly very different to what's coming through now So a sense of difference here again this week at Lionel Grape TV. A liqueur musket from 2010. So it's not one of these um, really aged, long aged oak, um, uh, uh, evaporated, you know, really thick wines. But this wine is juicy, uh, fruit character. Yes, there's alcohol there uh, and plenty of alcohol there. And, but the, the acid just, just rips it all off the uh, any of the sugar off the mouth and the tongue. So it's just lovely. And it's a wine that you can sit down and actually drink a little bit more of and a little bit more of. Quite often uh, with Fortifieds you drink a glass and that's it. You know, you don't really feel like any more. I can imagine I could sit here right now and drink the rest of this bottle quite easily. Now, I believe they're going to sell it for about $20, sell it all. Uh, and I also suggest that you're only going to be able to buy it uh, from uh, the cellar door or maybe uh, through Taste McLaren Vale. Uh, we'll see how we go with that. See if I can talk them into it. It's a 500ml bottle for the $20 and, uh, and I think uh, well worth giving it a try. So look, that's all we have time for Lonely Grape TV today. I'm going to enjoy the rest of this. And a uh, lovely McLaren Vale sunshine again. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. I forgot to turn the light on.